and welcome to my channel. This is Marla and today I'm bringing you a part two of my Oso oh inspired card. Last week I created a project using the signed and sealed with a kiss stamp set from the greetery and I wanted to share a second project using this same stamp set since it was one that had been sitting in my stash for a couple of years. Here's a look at the card that I created last week. I created a background using the flowers and then I added a little bit of vellum and a frame finishing finishing it off with the floral. The products that I'm using today are Love Song Sentiments, Shapely Hearts, Signed and Sealed, I'll be using the envelope and the coordinating die. Again, all the products are from the Greetery. And finally, the Signed and Sealed with the Kiss. This time I'll be using the heart. I'm using the same color combination with an addition, so I have Be Mine, It's a Girl, Juniper Mist, Stone Blue, Sauna, and Shea Butter from Katherine Pooler. I did not end up using the green ink. I'm going to start in the center, and I'm using my stamping block to add the heart. So the heart is the only element from the signed and sealed with the kiss that I'm adding to this background. I started off stamping on my glass mat, and then I brought in my stamp pad, which just gives a little bit more give in the stamping, and it gives a much better impression when I stamp down. I am alternating between my colors because I do want to have all three colors or all six colors technically on this background. This is the easiest way for me to just start building my background with that one stamp. I started in the center with the Shea Butter. I added It's a Girl, Stone Blue, Juniper Mist, Be Mine, and then I'll finish off with my final color, which is going to be the sauna. Once I have my background together, you'll notice that I did stamp off some of the edges, but I still have some white space that I can fill in. And this is where I'll do some partial stamping. I'm starting with the juniper mist, filling in some of that color. And then I'll finish off with the Be Mine, which is the darker pink, and just add a little bit more of that pink to the edges. This card panel is four and a quarter by five and a half inches, so I am going to adhere it to an A2 top folding card base, which is my card base of choice when I'm creating A2 size cards. I really like the top fold. And what I do is just take a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I cut it down on the eight and a half inch side to four and a quarter and that gives me two card bases. I score it at the five and a half inch mark and there you have it. I have a envelope that I have die cut from the signed and sealed with a kiss. There is a detail stamp that I'm adding to it to give the complete feel of an envelope. And then there are envelope liners. So I stamped it with the Juniper Mist and then I also used the Juniper Mist on the liner. I left the stamping out for this because it's actually going to get mostly covered up because I do change directions on this card. There was a little bit of ink on the bottom portion of the envelope and in order to correct that so you don't notice it I am going to stamp with an XOXO stamp and I think that may come from Pretty Postmarks again using that juniper mist and that covers up that little dot that I didn't like. I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto this piece of vellum and I will also bring in a pretty postmark die. I'll show the larger of the dies on camera. This is something that I just picked up from Amazon a long time ago and I will use the smallest of the postage stamps to cut this sentiment out. So I'm stamping my sentiment onto the vellum using Versamark ink. I'll add some Brutus Monroe sterling embossing powder and then I will heat set it from behind. There's that postmark die. As I did with my first card, I am going to use the largest one to cut 
some vellum. And then I'll use these rectangle dies from Cottage Cuts. They're pierced rectangles. I'll put two of them together. And again, I will create a frame. So the beginning of this card is very similar to the first card that I created. It's a little bit more whimsical because I did use the hearts from the signed and sealed stamp set. I added an additional color to it to give it that little um, pop of yellow so it's not quite as soft as the floral card that I created but the initial design is almost exactly the same uh, for the first design I did add my sentiment to the center of the frame this time I'm going to add my sentiment into the envelope that I've created I cut out two more of the small postage dies using that same blue cardstock that I used on this frame and then I also brought in another pink piece of cardstock and I'll do a little bit of ink blending on those card on those uh, pieces in order to make it match a little bit better so you can see that that pink is quite a bit lighter I tried adding the vellum over the top of it but I still think that it wasn't coordinating as well my first thought was to add the envelope because it was so large to the center of my card but I felt like it needed some layers and this is where I'm going to add some hearts so I've cut out three hearts from shapely hearts this is the largest of the three I'm adding it's a girl around the edges and and this is what's going to allow this cardstock to fit in much better with my composition. So here is another stamp set that I'm going to use. It's called Pretty Postmarks. I'm going to start with the script writing. You could repeat the script writing, just use one of them and stamp it repeatedly. I'm stamping on the diagonal. Uh, I chose to bring in all three pieces for quick stamping. Now there is a tiny bit of a gap in between the three which would normally happen when you're using any type of uh, stamp, but I didn't, it just didn't bother me enough. I thought that this was a quick and easy way to get the script onto my heart. All I want is a little bit of detail so that the card has more interest. I added the Be Mine, which is the darker of the pinks, for my ink. And then I am going to move on to the smaller hearts. This first one obviously is the yellow. So I'm going to add that sauna, I believe it is. Maybe it's the shea butter around the edges. And then I'll add it to the heart making sure that it's a little bit darker it fits in a little bit better again with the stamping that i have in the background i'll do the same thing with the blue heart this time adding juniper mist and i'll add it to the postage stamp and then i'll add the be mine to the pink one I end up changing that so I didn't leave that in so I've already inked the edge of the pink one with the be mine I am actually going to come in and do some additional stamping so again I think that that pink postage stamp is just falling a little bit flat on my card today so I will use the be mine and I'll go around the edges of that pink stamp and then I'll use one of the postmarks from the pretty postmarks and I think that that adds the final bit of interest to my card so adding all of the layers really just helped enhance that background it all coordinates well because we do have the postage stamp we have the envelope we've used the postage style die we have the hearts that coordinate well with the hearts in my background and all of the layers are really cohesive together I'm going to stamp this heart in the center and then for the final time I will finally arrange all of these little postage dies inside that envelope to complete it. And then we'll add one last piece which is going to be a bow. 
If you have followed me, you know that I do love to add ribbon to my cards. This time I do have a little bit of seam binding. I bought a big roll of seam binding, which is perfect because I can color the seam binding because it is a cream color. I can use different inks to help it coordinate with the cards that I'm creating, or I can keep it the solid cream color, which is what I'm going to do with my card today. I'm going to put this envelope at an angle, add a little bit more of the adhesive to the vellum so I'm just trying to tuck these in I can't tell you how many times I messed with the design of or the way that those postage stamps were placed inside that envelope that was probably the most fiddly part of this whole card was just trying to align those stamps the way that I wanted them to be this will be the last time and I'll add a little bit more adhesive as I mentioned to the piece of vellum and then here is that ribbon that I have cut I have tied into a bow I'm going to add a little heart to the center that I colored with a coordinating alcohol marker I'll trim this down and that will complete my card for today so I hope you enjoyed this part two of my oh so inspired card series using the signed and sealed with a kiss stamp set thank you so much for joining me today if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you're not a subscriber I I'd love for you to subscribe and ring the bell. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.